Hey, you too, Four Eyed Piper. Smoking my Savinelli Oscar Tiger Rusticated. Love this pipe. Nice little pipe. In it, I'm smoking a little bit of Black House Hearth and, Hearth and Home. And this was a sample that I received from Gamecock Piper a couple maybe a week and a week and a half ago or something like that. Mm. My first taste of Black House and it is quite nice. If you ever see me smoking this pipe, this uh, Oscar Tiger, which I love the stem on it, this is uh, one of my Latakia pipes. I have to say, for uh, being a newer pipe smoker and a little bit turned off to Latakia right in the beginning, I am fully committing to some Latakia blends right now, and I am loving it. Two things on the agenda tonight. I have a VR to do for Uncle Phil's cellar, and I have a Yabo from Mr. Olivewood Piper. And I'm going to save the Yabo for last. So uh, for my VR tonight, uh, for Uncle Phil's cellar, he is uh, doing a giveaway. For, I think it's at 150 subs uh, congratulations and he asked a really cool question uh, he asked if you could make a blend any kind of blend what would it be you could recreate a blend that you already know about um, you could create your own blend uh, using any tobaccos in the world there's no no restrictions and uh, I had to think about this a little bit I think for me, um, having never tasted a Frog Morton blend, um, that was going to be my pick. Um, specifically, the cellar, um, Frog Morton cellar, with the stave cube inside. But uh, I want to give it more thought than that. I told you that I've been getting into Latakia blends, and really uh, my first introduction to Latakia was Dunhill, early morning pipe, and then I moved on to Nightcap, and then I went straight into Plum Pudding, and from there I smoked some Balkan Sassini, and then went to Northwoods, and Northwoods by far has been my favorite Latakia blend. This Black House is fantastic, I am trying a little bit of that. I tried a little bit of the Star of the East by Cornell and Deal. Uh, those are also great blends. Um, but for me, my favorite Latakia blend so far is not really a pure English blend. Uh, it's more of a crossover, and that is Shortcut to Mushrooms. So I think I would experiment a little bit by making my own blend that uh, maybe had some of the similar traits of Shortcut to Mushrooms as it is crossover aromatic Latakia blend. But I think I might incorporate a little bit of a stave cube. And uh, I got thinking about it too. Uh, some of the local brewers around here use whiskey barrels to age beer. Um, so I think I might if I had my way, uh, pick up one of those barrels that had already been used for whiskey previously, then had been used for maybe um, a, a nice whiskey stout, something like that, and then I would use that stave cube in my Latakia blend that is also a crossover aromatic, and I think that would add some interesting flavors there. 
maybe it would turn out to be crap, but uh, that all sounds good. So that's my uh, that's my response to you. Now, on to the main event, which is my Yabo, and I'm extremely, extremely uh, excited for this, even though it doesn't seem that way. It's been a long, long, long week, and I really needed to relax with a pipe, and uh, I had a really long day today at work. Um, woke up at 5.30, 5.30 this morning, uh, brain's not working. Uh, ended up getting home around 8 p.m. A lot of driving today. And on top of it all, my son came down with an ear infection. I just had to take him to urgent care and get uh, some amoxicillin for him. So he's not a happy camper, and that always means that Dad is not a happy camper either. So uh, glad the week is over. I start my vacation. I'm starting to open my Yabo, by the way. Starting my vacation right now, and what a great way to start it with a box opening. So, I had contacted Olivewood Piper probably a week and a half ago, and was interested in purchasing a pipe and having one designed for me. Uh, he asked me to send him a drawing of a pipe, and so I did, and. Uh, I'm about to reveal what that whole process turned into. I'm trying to be, oh, there we go, there we go. I'm trying to be very gentle with this because I am so excited for this bike. Okay. And I've got a little note in here from Mr. Olivewood Piper. So this is an olive pipe. So uh, olive wood piper writes, Zach, hope you enjoy this set. The tamper in olive wood as well. This is one of a kind pipe. Never made this style before. It was fun. Be well. And I think I challenged him a little bit because I asked for a bulldog type shape. And that's what I drew up for him. Um, and he kind of, we went back and forth a little bit about this pipe. And he told me that it was one of the more challenging pipes he's had to create. So I think first things first, I'll unwrap the tamper. Wow. <laughs> I wanted something that had fall colors in it. Here is the tamper he designed for me to match my pipe. All in olive wood. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got some red, some yellow, and some brown. Very cool. Stands up great. Alright. And then here is the pipe sock. This is the first time I've been able to reveal a pipe. I've never, I've not seen this pipe yet. I've, this is the first time I've revealed a pipe on video uh, and for myself and uh, here we go and I actually got a phone call right as I was about to reveal it <clears throat> okay here we go and here it is look at that oh, yeah. I wanted a sort of Rhodesian bulldog shape and I think he captured that perfectly look at the green on that that's pretty cool looking very neat. The olive wood grain is just so cool. And then he put the same colors right into the stem work, the stem adornment. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that stem. Love it. Love it, love it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. It's a heavy pipe. It's awesome. I wanted a hefty, heavy pipe that filled my hand. I really did. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you, Olive Wood Piper. Beautiful, beautiful work. Certainly love that. That's definitely my fall pipe. And uh, 
you never know I might be getting in touch with you for a winter pipe before long so very cool I might take that up to uh, hunting camp or maybe I'll never smoke it because it's so lovely well thank you guys so much I hope you enjoyed my VR and uh, I hope you like the Yabo definitely uh, go sub Olivewood Piper's channel give him some love I know I will uh, love this pipe man love it thank you so much beautiful work absolutely beautiful all right guys good to see everybody and uh we'll catch you next time